Yo, it's your pal Comic Head coming through with a video. Um, you know, just because I can't go live right now because I'm on live lockdown um, doesn't mean that I wasn't going to come through and put in an entry video, a support video for my brother, Unruly Simeon, one of the best guys in the community, a staple in the community, as far as I'm concerned, uh, chat all-star, commenter all-star, and, uh, and the content that he does put out is always top-notch. Guy has a great collection and great knowledge about comics. So, he's holding a 150 subbed, I think that means it's that he's subbed to 150 people. Uh, I didn't check how many subs he has. I I pay very little attention to <laughs> how many subs people have, to be honest. But I, I think it was 150 subbed that he subbed to. Anyway, he's doing a contest for that. And he's got like three questions that he wants to the answer to. And they're all kind of YouTube uh, related. So without further ado, let me get into them. The first question was, what was the, the first comic YouTube channel that you subscribe to and are you still subscribed to them and it's it's one of these two it's either one gem mint collectibles um, you know just like you unruly stumbled across I don't know if it was like his one of his room tours statues uh, you know his buddy manimal manimal on that channel is my guy he kind of covers more of the, like the weekly comic book pickups. It's just a great channel. He does a good job with it. Um, kind of like, you know, gems covered in tats. Kind of seems like a street dude. I just thought the the aesthetic was interesting to me. Um, of, uh, you know, him covering comics. And, yeah, so great channel. He's one of those guys that, like, one of those channels that blows up so big that, like, I used to always make a point to hop into his live chats and stuff and hang out. But man, sometimes when a channel gets so big, it, it makes it tough to even, like, kind of participate in the live chat. Because there's so many people in there, it's just like, uh, and you really can't. That's, that's one thing I really like about this network of comic YouTubers that. Uh, that I'm a part of anyway. That I, I think we kind of have this little network of people that everyone kind of participates in, in each other's stuff. And it's like this, we're in this little sweet spot where there's there's enough people in the chat to have like a fun, uh, you know, input of comments and info. But it, it's not so much that, like you can have back and forth banter with someone in the chat. The person who's doing the stream can generally see stuff that people are saying, stuff that you're saying, so it, it, it's like a really cool interactive uh, kind of thing going on with channels that are of like our size, you know, the under under 1,000-ish club. Anyway, that's a bit of a tangent. Uh, Gemmit Collectibles, still a great channel, puts out great content. Um, shout out to the Gempire, Gemmit Empire. Uh, but it was either him or Key Comics Market Watch. I know Key Comics Market Watch was definitely the first guy that I subbed to that did just comic book hauls. Every Wednesday, he did a comic haul. He would do back issue hauls. Um, great dude, man. He was, he was another guy that early on, I was checking his stuff out. And he kind of put me on to the collecting game a little bit of... You know the weekly pickups and uh, keeping an eye out for keys and specking and, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, Key Comics Market Watch was a uh, was definitely one of the first channels that I checked out. I, I recommend anyone subscribe to him. Good dude, puts out stuff just about every week. Bang, those are my first channels that I sub to. His next question was uh, favorite segments of comic YouTube. 
And, you know, it's kind of a tough one, but uh, one, I'd say Biggie Shack riding down Santa Monica is uh, one of the best uh, segments on YouTube. The end of a Biggie Shack stream will always end with him taking you down Santa Monica, brother. Cuts a promo. Uh, it's some of the, it's just the funnest funniest, entertaining thing on YouTube. It's Biggie Shack is a, a free spirit, brother. And that's what I appreciate about Biggie Shack. Dude's raw, real, and just a free spirit, man. And he's just having fun. And uh, I appreciate that, dude. So Biggie Shack, Santa Monica is one segment. Another favorite segment of Comic YouTube is probably Tony Sanders' The Hunt. The Hunt is, you know, like must-see TV, as far as I'm concerned. I catch all of them. Dope premise. Uh, the Hustle of the Week, as far as the segment goes, The Hustle of the Week. Book that everyone votes on and stuff, and there's like some competition to it. it is, it's a blast. Uh, so, shout out to The Hunt. That's probably another one. And for the third one, it's tough, because, you know, what, who do you leave out? I... Uh, D-Runk, D-Runk puts out great content that I like, um, he, he's been stepping up his editing game lately too a lot, but as far as a segment, he recently did a movie review on that, the recent X-Men movie, and it's like, it's a masterpiece, uh, it's fucking so funny, uh, good editing, his take on it was awesome, so as far as I, I'm aware of, there's only one of these d Runk movie reviews out, but do do more of those because d Runk's good at that. So I thought of d Runk, I thought of Mr. Miracle's undervalued picks. That's a great segment. Uh, Metarog. Uh, anytime Metarog enters a contest, a Metarog contest entry is must-see TV as far as I'm concerned. Also, great, insightful dude. Nice guy. Uh, I'm a big fan of Matt Rob. But for my definitive number three pick, a favorite comic segment of YouTube, I think it's got to be Discovery Bay. Uh, what's on today with Discovery Bay? Uh, talk about just good dude, positive energy. You know, aside from him, like, being the man and doing the, the service of shouting out channels, and he definitely welcomed me early on. And was cool with me, uh, which is why I like was happy to, uh, you know, help make him that intro for his for his show. Uh, I was just happy to help that guy because I could see that he was trying to help out the community too, and he was carving out a cool niche for himself. Uh, but the crazy thing about Discovery Bay is that for a show that is essentially just like a TV guide listing programming for the day. It shouldn't be as entertaining as it is. Like, somehow JB makes listing pro what's on today, the show schedules. Somehow he just makes that uh, super fun. It's like a great show in and of itself. Um, and he's, like, adding new segments to it. He's always, One thing about him is he's always making the show better. It, it looks more polished each time. Uh, he's got his added segments in there, what's in the box already, um, the Instagram tag of the day. He always opens the show super funny with some kind of clip. So, uh, JB, Discovery Bay, what's on today? It's probably my third favorite YouTube segment. Um, last question was, your favorite YouTube channel, favorite YouTube channels that are not comic related and not politics related. Um, so yeah, politics aside, even though I don't dig into too much, eh, I dabble. Uh, so, those all aside, uh, Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan Experience, definitely is a channel that I've been subscribed to for a long ass time. I've been watching Joe Rogan for, shit, almost as long as he's been on, like 10 years. Because um, I, was, I was up on Joe Rogan early, early, like when... The Red Band days, when he had Red Band as the producer, he was still um, 
sponsored by the Fleshlight. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been rocking with Rogan for a long time, so Rogan comes to mind. And just the content that he covers, too. Like, I started watching Rogan at an interesting time, like, probably, like, in my mid-20s. And, like, in my younger years, and late teenage, even early 20s, I was, like, a bit of a knucklehead. Um, and, like, it was around that the middle 20s when I kind of made a conscious choice that I wanted to better myself. And, like, I never really gave a, like, gave a fuck about school um, much and stuff. And it came a point where it was, like, like I said, mid-20s where it's, like, becoming a man and I just I'm surrounded like just the area I grew up in is it's like kind of a lot of nonsense and a lot of people that are not really doing great but don't strive for a lot of you know greatness or whatever anyway it was a time in my life where like I started becoming interested in educating myself and learning things and like you know, took some college courses with without even a degree really in mind. Just taking in info and uh, digging into things that, you know, I probably should have in my younger years. Anyway, I mentioned that to say that it was around that time where I discovered the Rogan podcast. And it was just, not that Rogan put me onto the, all those things, but it was like, it was the right time for me to find a show like that of a guy that spoke plain, plainly cool, you know, drop cuss words and whatever. It wasn't like this prim and proper thing. Yet, you know, digging into interesting topics of talking to historians, scientists, uh, political figures, and, and the whole nine. And it was like, it was really right up my alley at that time as a young man, kind of getting a handle on the world. And, not to mention... Uh, stand-up comedians. I'm a big, like, stand-up comedy aficionado. I've seen all the best comedy specials. Um, I'm up to speed on stand-up comedy. I consider myself, you know, a bit of an aficionado on it. And um, that helped, too, that there was also the interweaving of stand-up comedy, uh, stand-up comedians on the show. And fun fact is... There was a time where your boy Comic Head was actually uh, doing open mic <laughs> stand up comedy at this local spot. It's like a local place, a local bar that they would do open mic stand up. And there was a period of time where I was I was doing that, and it's probably good that I stopped. But <laughs> dude, there was a time. Anyway, uh, Rogan UFC coverage stuff is something that's in my YouTube cycle a lot. Uh, Luke Thomas is one of my favorite analysts. Chael Sonnen is a, you know, full, now retired fighter, but great analyst, one of the best analysts around. Um, so UFC, MMA content is, uh, is something that I check out a lot. And yeah, that's two. That's enough. So in OSW, that's a recent one. I didn't know about these guys. OSW, Old School Wrestling Reviews. And they watch old wrestling pay-per-views and comment over it. Kind of like what me and Biggie Shack were doing on Mega Power Hour. But I got banned for it. But there are people out there doing it. The OSW guys do it. I don't know how that works. But anyway, uh, you know, that's a fun show to watch. I like seeing guys go through and comment on uh Vintage Pro Wrestling. So, there's my answer. This is way too long. I'm sorry. This is too long of an entry video, but there you have it. Uh, Unruly Simeon. Just wanted to come through. Great channel. Great prizes. Um, I'd be honored to win any of the books that, that you have in the contest, but really this was more about just showing you some support, brother. I saw that you put the video out. I just want to let you know that I saw your video. I wanted to take some time to put something together for you, answer your questions, and get it out there. And just to wish your channel the best and wish you the best. All right, y'all. Thank you. I've taken enough of your time. Uh, this is for you and Louis Simeon. Peace out, my brother. Peace.